South Asia has always been a region with one of the highest injections of passion for Valorant and has always shown us some amazing players and teams. Starting with the likes of Global Esports who have secured themselves as one of the eternals of Valorant's franchising, they are supported by tens of thousands of people from their region. But this video is about every other person, aspect and detail of South Asian Valorant that is going on as of January 2023. After all the VCT and VCL announcements were done, South Asian fans were heavily excited for the prospect of a new league which is an official event too. To be held in their region to give teams here a strong chance to qualify for ascension. A lot of teams at the same time were going through their set changes which included the big names of the region Velocity Gaming, Enigma Gaming, Orangutan, Revenant Esports and more. So what exactly is currently going on in South Asian Valorant? Well, as of right now, nothing. While a lot of teams have made their moves, like Velocity acquiring Excali from Enigma after his controversial exit back in 2021, there's even been talks about Velocity Gaming revamping their roster and Sentinel considering an import if an all South Asian roster doesn't work. Enigma dropping their entire roster which had pretty decent success to now build a new and currently unknown squad. Orangutan who previously competed in the region with an international roster then exited the South Asian scene briefly only to return back to it again and signed the Enigma core of Antidote, RVK, Raw Fuel and Tesseract who was previously in Orangutan with a different roster and the new firepower addition of Aziz from Southbuilt Esports. Revenant picked up the veteran and ex-Velocity star right to ace and had Josh and Ching also join their roster quite recently. Whilst all of this has been happening, a lot of commotion across Twitter has set fire to a topic that everyone's got an opinion about and that is the importing of players from other countries or regions to South Asian teams and it has been 50-50 to be honest. A lot of people consider it to be a short-term success thing whilst some I both agree and disagree. Both it's it's not like ha sahi bol rahe. He is saying it from the limited perspective that he knows and understands jo choti si jhalak usne dekhi hai while he was working here. A lot of teams did this in Counter-Strike and Dota as well, us included in the past 2018, 2019, we had two international players. So similar rules where you could have three local talent and two imports. And even for our Counter-Strike team, in fact, our Counter-Strike team, which Bhavin was the IGL for, we also had two international players. We had two Polish players that we had brought down who were boot camping here and practicing out of here. And he is right that it works well in the short term because any of these players like you can ask any of the orgs that have signed international players what the duration of their contracts are it's usually six months one year one and a half year uh, be, uh, i i consider that short term i think one year two years is very short term i believe this is the only way south asian teams will break the barrier of international valor and success for the region that has been quite elusive for the past three years and talking about imports, some of the most skilled and amazing players who are in the South Asian region are unfortunately being overlooked. The likes of Soulmate, King and Shooter have been some of the best talents this region has seen who perform from Pakistan even at 100 plus ping consistently which is a remarkable feat with the competition they have and King even managed to reach the top 5 in the leaderboard. These players have the talent and skill to make a squad absolutely stacked but due to legal issues that develop in terms of flying down these players and the hassle it causes makes the orgs look in other directions for more easier ways to overcome these hurdles. Hopefully by the time challengers begin these players can find their rightful opportunities. But even though all these roster moves and changes are happening under the shadows and will be finalized by the end of February mostly, there is one thing that we are still yet to understand and that is the lack of clarity and transparency from Nordwin Gaming who are going to be hosting the South Asian League. It was supposed to have actually started from the mid of January according to some reports but due to unknown reasons it has been clearly indefinitely pushed. 
there has been no communication from the side of the TO about any update regarding the same and everyone in the region have been haunting streamers and players and everybody under the sky regarding updates that they themselves at the moment do not know about. As of right now, it is rumored that the league is supposed to start in March, but until Nordwin themselves confirm it, it will still be in the air. Let me know what you think about South Asian Valorant as of now in the comments. Hit that big red button and like as well to support me. Thanks and see you in the next one.